Hi, my name is Ajit Singh Rena. I am a Docker captain as well as Arm innovator. Today, I am here to talk about an interesting tool. Digital footprints are growing with massive amount of data coming from a different sources in structurally variable formats. Data is generated and arrives for processing much faster than it ever did before and in greater volume too. There is an increased need for systems that capture, store, visualize and analyze a complex data with heterogeneous structure. Today I want to introduce you to Redis Insight. Redis Insight is a GUI tool for your database management and operation. It is a lightweight multi-platform management UI for Redis. You can deploy it in just 10 seconds. Even run as a Docker container as well as Kubernetes pod. Auto discovery is much more easier with Redis Insight. With this fantastic tool, you can auto discover Redis, open source, Elastic Cache as well as Redis Enterprise Cloud. Modern database need to store and process a variety of data types in any formats and if you want to be able to access and process that data using any appropriate models. For some application you may want to view the data from a tabular perspective but from others you may have to view the relationship via graphs. You may want to do a full text search or you may want to access the data as a JSON documents. Redis Insight as a tool allows you to visualize all this data for all those different data structure. You can even monitor your cluster health with real-time alerts, analyze your cluster, rebalance, manage additional nodes, and do a lot of things. So without any further delay, let me go ahead and show you a kind of a demonstration where I'm going to go ahead and create a Redis database with all those modules and then use Redis Insight to monitor and manage all those modules. So let us get started. The first and the foremost thing which I am going to do here is use a Docker playground for all my demos. These are completely free and you can go ahead and create up to five instances and play around with it. Play with docker.com if you go to the site you just click on start it will try to authenticate with your github or docker hub id on the left hand side you will see the name of the instances on the right hand side the terminal window will open so let us go ahead start so let get let us get started and add a new instance here so once i click on this let me make the font a little bigger if you see here, I can type docker version. So it comes with already docker installed into it. And it is based on Redis. Uh, it is based on the Alpine Linux, which we can check it here. So Alpine Linux is working on this. We will be following a kind of GitHub repo here. So let us first go ahead and try to bring Redis server with all those modules. Redis Labs slash Redis mod is a fantastic docker image with all the Redis Labs modules which means that you don't have to really go ahead and install all those modules manually. It just comes with this particular docker image. By now we should have this application up and running. You can see here the port. This is a by default port. Now to in order to go ahead and connect with it, I will create a new instance here. Though you can do it with a single instance too. Now once I do this, I can go ahead and update the repo. And say apk add redis. So what I am trying to do is installing a redis client on top of it. Now if you see here, Redis CLA install, I can go ahead and just supply the Redis server which is 192.168.4.13 and I should be able to get connected here. I can type info command to see all my key space, CPU, modules, all this information. 
now we will try to use redis inside and try to connect it with the redis server so let's do that too let me exit from it To bring up Redis Insight, all I have to do is bring up this particular container called as Redis Labs slash Redis Insight and I am going to expose it in port 8001. All you have to do is go ahead, paste it. It will just take another few seconds for the Redis Insight to be up and running. If you really want to follow the steps which I have been following, all you have to do is go to the description section where I have added the link. Where first what we did is running Redis with all the modules and now we are running a Redis inside here. Let us go back and check this. Yes, Redis has already started. Once you run this container, you will see a port number here. Just click on this port number and this will open up Redis Insight UI. Just go ahead and agree to all and say confirm. Now Redis Insight connects to both on-prem as well as in the cloud. One of the great feature of Redis Insight is you can add a database and there is a, there is a concept of auto discovery too. So you can automatically auto discover all those databases, Redis Enterprise, Redis Enterprise Cloud and Elastic Cache, which is of AWS. So for now, since we have a database which is running locally, I will go ahead and say add Redis database. I can name it as test demo. Provide the IP address where the Redis server is running. So I have in the node one, we have a Redis server. So 192.168.0.13, 192.168.0.13. And then this is running at port 6379. Let's verify this. Yes, we are correct. And then say add Redis database. It will go ahead and try to connect to the Redis server. And now there we are. We have got this box where it mentions about the name of the database as well as uh, and IP addresses. Okay, so so here you can see like I can go ahead and browse. It's a very fancy UI where I can I could browse through all the modules. These modules comes enabled by default because I have a Docker container with all those modules compiled. But if you are doing it manually, then you need to pick up all the modules one by one. You can see here the configuration list related to the modules network. You can also see the client list from where I am right now connected. I can go to the CLI and try to set some kind of a value. Say if I want to set A100, I can get the value as 100 here. The next thing which we want to do is, let's go ahead and add some kind of, you know, the hash keys. Click on add hash. So let me go here. So you have all the data structures here. So I will say hash. And let's follow this key name users. So let me pick up users here. This looks good. And then field name is name. Okay. And say I'm typing as Kulabnix and say add. So if you see here, I have just created a hash key here, right? So if I, if I really want to see this particular key, all I can go to the CLI and say uh, keys star and it will give you my, it, it, it will give, it will display the details around the hash keys, right? The users with A1. Now this is good. I can add more information about users and the name or the email, right? All this information I can do it here. So let me do that part also. So this will be more like users email, okay. Users email and then I can say contact at the rate collabnix.com and I can say add.
okay it says that the key already exists so i can say user and then i have two more entries here right so in the same way i can go ahead and use any of the list sorted list json format and all this thing for this example let me go ahead and try to uh, use try to connect to the particular instance of uh, docker container and then try to use this particular query here let me do that let me we will be using a redis graph here so let me go to the cli part and i will run this command so once i this this basically this example is of the graph query where i'm going to create a writer name and the writes right for multiple players and then if, if i really want to go ahead and query this i can do this right in the cli and it will give me all the information about the writer name and basically the team name now meanwhile if you go to the redis graph it might have fetch all those if I, if, I, if I want to go ahead and execute the query all i have to do here is type this and say enter and it will give me the information so this is how you can play around with the redis graph there are other modules so in the next video i am going to show you one generic example for each of the modules thank you for watching have a great day